one of the finest racing commentators in the South, from WIFM Elkin, North Carolina, on Pitt Road, Barney Hall. Thank you, Ken. As we look down toward the east end of the speedway, all we can see, of course, is pit crews and tires stacked all the way up to the top of pit wall. They'll get a chance to put all this equipment to work as the race will be getting underway here very shortly. We'll be right here to cover all the action back to you in the tower. I'm one of those millions of fans growing up that learned about NASCAR listening to you on the radio. Uh, Barney is certainly one of those pioneers I think that we all should be grateful for. Richard Petty's STP Oldsmobile, Waltrip dives to the inside. Petty almost put him off in the grass, and Richard Petty will win the Daytona 500. This Daytona 500 has had it all. Donnie Allison, Cale Yarborough crash in turn three on that final lap. Denny Hamlin has had a strong car here for the last half hour. Jeff Burton has been strong all day long. Everything I've learned about how to put it all together and be a citizen of this sport in the garage and in the booth and really have it become a part of me that I could become a part of it. I've learned from this man here. Earnhardt is using every inch of racetrack, and Elliott gets together with him. Earnhardt goes off in the grass, brings the car back out of the speedway, and keeps it in a straight line and holds on to the lead. Unbelievable. Looking for the pace car to pull in behind the pit wall. That has happened. Here they come down to the line. Green flag goes in the air and they take off for turn number one for some furious racing these final 70 laps. Growing up, my mom and dad would literally put me in the back of our car and drive from Owensboro, Kentucky down to uh, Bowling Green, Kentucky, which is where we would first pick up the signal from MRN about the races that my brother was racing in. Those images that I pictured in my mind made me a fan of the sport and made me want to be a part of the sport that um, no one else could have ever done like Barney did. Tell you what we'd like you to do if, if you would like to do it. When they come off turn number four and that pace car hits pit road, would you like to say here they come to the green for us? Sure. You, you pinch me when I'm supposed to I'll say here they it. come to the green. <laughs> All right. Pace car about to ease off on the pit road right now. 43 of the best stock car drivers in the world, about a thousand feet away from the start finish line. And to call the start of the Daytona 500, the president of the United States, George Bush. Here they come to the green. Celebrating 50 years of broadcasting NASCAR racing, MRN Radio's Barney Hall. And you know, there's just something that kind of reaches out and grabs you when you say the 50th running of the Daytona 500, it's about to get going. They come down to the line, green flag goes in the air, two by two is a head off into turn number one, and already they're getting racy just past the start finish line. When we first started working on the air together, he, he and I were sitting down one night and he said, Alan, there's nothing wrong with doing things with a little class and a little dignity. Isn't that Barney Hall? I think that, you know, you're great. You're one of the greatest. Barney Hall is number one in my book. I put he you is. second to him. <laughs> so anything he says is right. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you that right now. And to our good friend from radio station WIFM, Elkin, North Carolina, Barney Hall. Thank you, Ken. It was the most exciting race. I'd given up smoking until those last 10 laps, and now I've got another pack out puffing on one. I didn't even realize it. I ran out of fingernails about the last five laps also. It's one of the most exciting finishes I've ever seen at Daytona, and the people here were treated to one of the greatest races they'll ever see anywhere. It was a pleasure being here in the pits covering the action. Back to Ken Squire in the tower.